questions that you may have for myself, the person that brought you on this call will have my contact information. Please feel free to give me a call. I can more happy to sit down with you, share more information with you as well as my story. But now I want to wrap up this call because I know we've got a fantastic leader on the phone right now who I know is, is just raring to go. He's got a team. He's got an organization that spans, I know, every continent that we have here on planet Earth and it's just getting bigger by the moment. He is exciting to listen to. He's exciting to watch up on stage and he's fun to work with. My good friend, Mr. Andreas Papakostas, the call's all yours. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jamie. Can you let me know if my audio is clear? Audio is loud and clear, buddy. Okay, let me go ahead and make sure uh, you can see my screen. Uh, can you hear? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Awesome. Let me make sure. Yep, we are recording. Let me click a couple of the uh, things here. What I don't have an overload in my my back office here, um, but uh, awesome. Okay, we're going to begin. First of all, Jamie. Thank you so much for the introduction. More importantly, fantastic job on the presentation. Uh, I love the way you present the NHG Global Business Model because you, you paint the picture for people so clear um, that you, 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 people like us who are already involved, growing large organizations, you know, want to re-enroll again. And, uh, and it all comes from authenticity, from experience. So thank you for all you do. Um, for NHD Global and for everyone's organization as we are breaking records around the world. So thank you. My pleasure, Andrew. Awesome. Well, folks, today I want to talk about, uh, oh, gosh, you know, there's so many different topics and aspects of the business that you want to teach and you want to share and you want to expose and you want to do so many things to help people uh, truly get a grasp uh, on um, aspects that are important to them. Now, everybody has a different level of experience, they have a different level of mindset, everyone has different goals, everyone has uh, comes in for different reasons. And today, um, this is, and I've done many trainings um, for NHT Global here. Uh, this one, I'm excited about every training that I do. I'm passionate about sharing my experience. I'm passionate about sharing things that work. I'm passionate about transforming people. And really, this is this is what I can pretty much uh, condense this training uh, as far as what it's going to do. It's going to transform you personally, so you can transform yourself financially. Now, there's a lot of aspects uh, when you're dealing with transformation, when you're dealing with change, and we got such phenomenal training. As a matter of fact, we've got. In my belief, in my experience, being in the industry for about 12 and a half, 13 years now, there isn't a better training system, online training system, from the top leaders, not just in NHT Global, but truly in the industry of network marketing on steamteam.ca. That is your library of knowledge, of experience, of everything you need to know to build your business. So we're just going to add another training which is today's to that list as well now my goal with this training today folks um, uh, because I'm very passionate when it comes to mindset when it comes to developing yourself personally self-growth um, I'm gonna give you a little tough love here today I wanna hit some something really really home with you today for some of you um, you may get a little upset. For some of you, you may be saddened. For some of you, you, you may be shocked. For some of you, um, you may be, wow, you, you know what, spot on. But the whole purpose of this, for those of you who know, you know that I do it out of love. You know I do it out of transforming you, getting yourself out of your comfort zone so you can change your situation. You know, it's easy to do the same things. It's easy to continue to believe the same things. It's easy for you to have the same habits and not change than it is to realize, increase your awareness, make the changes, and succeed. As, as weird as that sounds, that's basically the truth. So what I'm going to do here today is try to um, hit you with a block, so to speak, kind of wake you up, get you to reflect and realize where you are at today so you can decide where you want to be tomorrow. Now, there's many aspects in building your business, and there's many principles, and there's many, uh, gosh, trainings and concepts, and there's, and, and there's no one more important than the other. 
But this is a passion of mine. These two concepts is a passion of mine. Law of association and your mindset. To me, it's everything. It's everything to succeed in all areas of life. Not just in your business, not just in your network marketing business, but anything you want to accomplish in your life. Now, I don't know how long this training is going to be. I'm going to try to keep it within 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, but I, I, I don't really have any notes here. I'm just going to share with you some slides, and I'm going to reflect and expand on those slides based on my experience and based on what I know is true and what works. So let's start off with belief, okay? You know, in the previous slide, I talked about law of association and your mindset is everything. I can't stress that enough. It is everything. However, in order for you to grasp the concept of law of association and the concept of where your mindset needs to be, you this is everything. Belief. Belief in yourself. This is crucial. Your level of belief basically will determine your level of success. There is no other way around it. There is no sugarcoating it. There is no moving it sideways, bending it forward, uh, uh, adding marketing verbiage. That's what it comes down to. Your level of belief will determine your level of success. So how important is belief? It's everything. Now, what? What do you talk about? What do you mean when you're saying belief in yourself? Okay? We all know that in order for you to succeed in all areas of your life, you have to believe in the industry that you're a part of. You have to believe in the product and services you're a part of. No doubt, 100% belief. You have to believe in the pay plan structure. You have to believe in the track record. You have to believe in the people that you're, you're working with. That's a no-brainer. But I'll tell you what, you can have those pieces to the pie at 100%. But if the belief in you is less than 100%, you're going to struggle. You're going to find it very hard to move ahead in the direction where you want to go when you're dealing with success, when you want to talk about wealth, when you want to talk about riches, when you want to talk about total freedom, which includes financial and time freedom. When we talk about happiness, okay, everybody wants to be happy 100% of the time. Everybody wants to be financially free. Everybody wants to have time freedom. Anybody who tells you otherwise is living in a different world. It, again, there's no, there's no sugar coating this, okay? So my question to you is, what level of belief do you currently have right now today listening to this training? What level of belief do you have about your future? Why don't you think about that? It saddens people sometimes. Some people are confused. Some people just don't know where to go because they've just never really spent time on that. What level of belief do you have about your life? Think about that. Write these down. And reflect on this. Take the time to answer these to yourself. What level of belief do you have about building your company, your organization, your business? What level of belief do you have? What level of belief do you have about the team that you are with building your business? Do you like what you believe in? Think about that. Many people think about, don't know, not happy, put it aside, they carry on. Nothing changes. They're back to square one again. Folks, belief is everything. Belief is everything. And I'm going to go over some things that will get you to think, that will get you to take action, that will get you to become solution-oriented, that will get you to change, that will get you to stretch yourself. It's all about stretching yourself from where you are today so you can move closer to where you want to be tomorrow. That's what these trainings, that's what we are all about here in helping you with these webinars. So what are the two factors in how your belief system evolves or, for instance, needs to change? Okay, you understand this, right? 
you totally agree with this. You are all in with this concept that I just shared with you. Okay? So, what, um, what are the things that you can do? Well, again, we talked about your mindset. Your mindset is shaped directly and indirectly, meaning consciously and subconsciously from your belief system. Your mind and your thoughts all come from the current belief system you have, the current belief system you have with your religion, the current belief system you have with perhaps the political party you're affiliated with, the uh, belief system that you have in regards to how to raise your child, the belief system that you have in regards to your religion. All these belief uh, systems that you have are, again, uh, based on a lot of factors, and I'm going to kind of go over them a little bit today, but your current belief system is either driving you or it's defeating you. That's it. I'm going to say this again. Your current belief system right now is either driving you towards your goals, dreams, and aspirations, or they're defeating you. Okay? So what must you do? This is very important to understand. So the two factors that affect your belief system, there's probably more, but these are the two things that have made a significant impact, not just in my business, but in my personal life, in my relationships with my friends, with my community, with my spouse, with my kids. This can help you in every area of your life. Number one. A factor that affects your belief system is obviously your mindset. And there's different categories in regards to your mindsets, but I want to talk to you about your thoughts. What you think about all day, every day, is based on the current belief system that you have. Unless you change your belief system, you will never change your thoughts, no matter how hard you try to change your thoughts. Okay? Now, I'm going to cover this uh, a little bit, uh, but I'm not going to spend most of this training in regards to the mindset. Most of this training today is going to be about the second factor, and that is law of association. Folks, this is so crucial. This law is so crucial that so many people ignore, deny, reject and it could be the difference between you living a mediocre life to living an exceptional life now this is where it's gonna hit a lot of people in between their eyes as the great Joe Garcia says and it's true because you're gonna have to make some decisions you're gonna have to make some choices in regards to this principle but if you surround yourself with the right people your mindset will change. If you invest in getting the proper mindset, you will attract the right people to surround yourself with. Again, these two cannot work independent of each other. If your thoughts are incongruent with your goals and your belief system, okay, it's going to allow you to attract the people that you will associate yourself with the law of association. If you associate yourself with the law of association, it'll help shape the thoughts to give you the mindset, again, to move in the direction that you need to be in order for you to achieve your goals. The one cannot work with the other. I cannot stress that enough. These two work together. They don't function solely of one another. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the law of association. Remember, the people you surround yourself with, who you listen to, who you work with, or spend most of your time with, whether you're at work, whether you're at home, whether you're doing functions, in the community can do one or two things, okay? And I, I can share an experience on this firsthand many times. So this is what happens when you surround yourself, whether good or bad, these are the two things that, again, depending on the people you surround yourself with, can do. Number one, it can magnify your dreams, goals, self-esteem, and self-worth, or they can destroy your dreams, goals, self-esteem, and self-worth. Now, understand this concept, okay? 
where people are now out there to purposely say, well, I'm going to destroy Andreas's goals and dreams and aspirations and his self-esteem and self-worth. They don't consciously do it. Subconsciously, because of their belief systems and where they're at in their life, you're picking up the same energy when you surround yourself with these types of people. You know, it, 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 when you go out there and you hang out with a high energy person, it's totally different how you feel when you go out and you hang out with a blamer, complainer, somebody who's just low energy. You feel different. Why? Because you're surrounding yourself with that type of energy. So you've heard the cliche. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. What do you mean by that, Andreas? Well, how many people go out there and read books and they go to seminars and that's great. But most people who do that think that they're ready for it, but their mindset is not ready for it. Because if you go out there and you learn everything you need to know and you believe in everything you need to know, but your circumstances is the same, one or two things is not incongruent. Your law of association or the proper mindset. It can't be anything else, folks. I can't stress that enough. So, positive or negative, you see a picture here of the great Jim Rohn, the best business philosopher that ever existed on the planet to me. This is my opinion, okay? A lot of personal development leaders in the industry have done a lot of the teaching from Jim Rohn. He's got one of the best principles and how he delivers the principle hits really home, hits at the heart, and again, can't deny it. I had a chance and the privilege and the honor to meet the great Jim Rohn out in Dallas, Texas uh, a long time ago uh, when uh, it was one of his last uh, workshops that he's actually done and uh, I still hold him uh, really high in my heart, listen to him almost on a consistent basis, uh, and again, uh, hold him as one of my five key people that I associate myself. Although he's not alive, I'm going to share with you how that doesn't play a, a significant role when you choose your five. But the positive or negative, okay, positive or negative, this is what Jim Rohn says. You are going to become the average of the five people you surround yourself with the most. Well, that's it. You want to do your own self-study? And I'm not talking about the person you talk to every so often that you think about. Okay, I'm talking about the person that you go and you hang out with, that you spend a couple hours with, whether it's leisure, whether it's business, whether it's errands, whether it's helping or supporting. Whoever you hang around with the most, the top five, is going to play a significant impact on your finances and on your mindset. There is no way around it. And here's what he says. Take the five people that you surround yourself with mostly that you take your advice from or you listen okay, to or you just, just hang out the most with. Take those five people. okay. Take all of their incomes, what their incomes, and if you don't know, just estimate their incomes, okay, and include yours as well. I can almost guarantee you that the average of the five is basically kind of what your income is, okay? I can almost guarantee you. Take the time to do this. Now, here is what is important to understand, okay? The people you surround yourself with, you may not realize this, but others actually do. You start to talk like them. You start to think like them. You start to you eat like what they eat. You go where they go. Um, if you're not making money, the chances are the people you're surrounding yourself with are probably not making any money. If you are making significant money, okay, I can guarantee you that three or four of the five that you're surrounding yourself with are making significant money. Vice versa, and again, good or bad, okay? Now, here's a concept I can't, again, stress enough, but again, important. Again, I want to hit you in between the eyes because this is reality, folks. I want to give you tough love because you're on this call. You're listening to this today, folks, because you want change. You're not on it here just a waste of 30, 40 minutes of your time. You're on here because you're looking for change. You're looking for something. You want change. You want to transform. You want a concept. You believe. You're, you're, you're doing the right things. You're staying engaged. Understand this concept. Out of the five, 
that you surround yourself with, you better not be the top person of the five. Okay, you don't want to be the one that earns the most and you don't want to be the one that is the high energy, the inspiring one out of the five. Why? Because there's no growth for you. We all love to help people and get recognized for helping that person and solving that purpose problem and being an ear for that person. Everybody needs that and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But here's the reality. If you're looking for growth, if you're looking to expand and stretch yourself in the direction of where you want to go, I can promise you one thing. You continue being the top of the five people you surround yourself financially and mindset, you are not going to grow. I can't stress that enough. You are not going to grow. If you want to grow personally and financially, again, don't be the top of the five. Be afraid. Be very afraid if you are the top one of the five. And what you want to do is you want to get others that, again, that make more money than you, that you want to model, that inspire you, that value you, that is your biggest cheerleader, want to see you succeed, and that you can also learn from. Okay, this is very important because they will pull you up in the averages that I am talking about. This is very important to understand. Okay, if you are the one that everybody goes to with their drama and their problems because you're a great listener and you're a great problem solver, guess what? You may have some short-term satisfaction of helping, but I can guarantee you, you're going to be unhappy, you're going to be a sad, and you're going to get mad at the same time. I can guarantee you that. Reflect on that. You probably had some moments that you've actually experienced that. And if that's what you focus on, what do you think you're going to get more of? As you know, you've heard this. It's not a, it's not a secret anymore. Law of attraction is always incongruent with your thoughts. So, again, the people you surround yourself with will have the biggest impact in your life. More than you can imagine. Again, positive or negative. So here are four questions I want you to ask yourself today, not tomorrow. If you're serious, implement what you're learning today. Not tomorrow. Don't put it aside. That's probably a habit that you want to break. You want to make changes in your life, you got to make changes in your habits. Here's one of them. Ask these questions for yourself today, okay? Now, who am I around often? Ask yourself that. Find out who are your top five that you surround yourself, that you're always often with. Number two, what are they doing to me emotionally? How do they make me feel after I leave? Am I happy? Am I sad? Is it negative? Am I confused? Am I mad? Am I inspired? Again, good or bad, what are they doing to me emotionally? Number three, is it okay? Is it okay that they're making you feel that way? Is it okay that they're inspiring you? Of course it is. Is it okay if they make you feel sad? That's a question you need to answer. You obviously know what the answer is. But ask that. Is it okay? Number four, does hanging out with the people that I'm often around, do they move me closer to my goals or do they move me farther away from my goals? Ask yourself those questions. Okay? So, let's move on to the next slide. What are the solutions? Okay? Let's just say the answer to those four questions is that it's not okay. It's not okay that I feel this way. It's not okay that I'm always surrounding myself with people that are moving me farther away from my goals. So what do you do? Let me give you three suggestions. There's a lot, but again, I'm just going to give you some things. Now, this is the difficult part with people. And I'm going to give you um, the, the concept, the reason why. It's going to be up to you to make the choices, okay? Here's number one. You gotta limit your association with those people 
that do not move you closer to your goals. Even if you think, okay, yeah, I can hang out there. That guy's fun. And I know he's negative, but he's funny. I hang out with him. It's no big deal. I know I can control my thoughts and stuff like that. You're not understanding the indirect, the subconscious effect of that energy. You're not understanding that. So limit your association from negative people. I'm not saying eliminate them. Here's the hardest thing for you to grasp. Some of these people, if not most of these people, may have the same last name as you. Okay? We all have people in our lives that have the same last name as us, okay, family members, that fall into this category, okay? Instead of spending two hours with them, spend 20 minutes with them, okay? Get busy with other things that will move you in the direction of where you want to be, where you want to go, okay? So you don't have that much time to spend with these types of people, okay? I hope you understand that. Now, number two, what's another critical solution? Disassociate with some of these people. Now, again... It's very hard to disassociate yourself with people that perhaps you grew up with or people that, you know. But again, you're on this call. You want a better life. You've done it your way with these people and are still where you are at. If you want to stretch and grow, sometimes you have to disassociate yourself with people. Get, get back to the person who you're working with, and I'd love to share a story. I'm not going to do it on this webinar, but I can share a very powerful story, three stories actually, where I disassociated myself from a certain individual, several individuals, completely, very hard for me to do. I can't tell you what happened to me that very same week. It is powerful. It is transformational. Was it hard? Absolutely. But my goal is to move myself closer to where I want to be, not where others want me to be. So disassociate yourself with some of these people. Please do not take this lightly. You have a choice. Okay? Do you want to live your life managing people around you, not living your life? Or living your, I mean, think about that. Don't you want to associate yourself who are going to uplift you? Yes, you can help people, but I'm going to share with you how you help people that, again, are negative, have low energy. Okay, I'll tell you how you can help those people. But some people, you just got to disassociate yourself with. If you're going to bed thinking about that person and you can't believe that person saying this or doing that, is it worth for these type of people to rent space in your head the moment you go to sleep? sleep wake up okay and not feel great because of that one individual think about that almost common sense but hard to do you've heard the cliche what's easy to do is also easy not to do common sense sometimes is not so common okay now here's another thing that you can do expand your association Start spending more time with people that are helping you become a better person, that are helping you become a better leader, that's helping you become a better networker, somebody who's uplifting you, who's making you a bigger thinker. This can change everything for you. Now, it's tough at the beginning when you're hearing this because, again, top leaders are also going to spend less time with people who are at the bottom tier of the five. But if you prove it through your mindset and you prove it through your actions, that little association over a long period of time can transform you. I can't tell you how powerful that is. Now, some people are saying, well, I just I live in an area where I just can't meet people. I, I'm in a situation where I, where do I meet people? Where do I find these people? Guess what? A live person doesn't necessarily have to be part of the five in order for you to, again, change the law of association as well as change your mindset. Books, folks. Books. A book, an author, could be one of your five in the Law of Association. 
Here's one book that I strongly encourage everybody to read. Not just read, but study it. If you have not read this book at least three or four times, boy, are you missing transformation beyond your wildest dreams. I can't stress that enough. Audio program. There's an audio program of Science of Getting Rich that Bob Proctor does a fantastic job. Audio. You can listen to the car. You can listen on your headset. You can wake up in the morning, do your jog or workout, and listen to somebody. That's part of the law of association, folks. You can get on steamteam.ca and listen to the top leaders that shared their entire success and their experience every single day. That could be part of your association. Tony Robbins, there's so many of them. Make him part of your top five if you don't have people that you can consider alive that are your top five. What about these two gentlemen? Oh, my gosh. They make themselves accessible for each and every one of you. They mentor people that are not even in NHD Global. Make them part of your five. I know they're part of mine. That's for sure. So books, audio programs, upline partners can be part of your big law of association. Again, if you can't find people to surround yourself with, then again, make these people part of your five. You get the right mindset, you're going to attract the right people. Then you can change. Your top five may change five months from now. It may change a year from now. You may keep three and add another two. Okay? But you got to start with having people that are making more money than you, that can inspire you, that you can learn from, and that value what you are doing and what you're trying to accomplish in your life. Now, mindset. Again, this goes into so many topics. This, this is a topic that's a lifelong journey. There is no one book, there is no one audio program that gives you the entire answers for everything. This is a lifelong journey quest to always work on your mindset in regards to your thoughts. You all know thoughts are based on your belief system. So how can you change your belief system? Okay. Well, we talked about the law of association. That's one of them. But your thoughts. By changing who you learn from, who you surround yourself with, and spending time on yourself focusing on the things you want and the things that make you happy, again, can shape your mind and your thoughts to change your belief systems. You start attracting more people, and then that cycles. Law of association gets better, mindset gets better. Mindset gets better, you attract more people to include in your law association. This is so powerful, folks. I hope you are grasping all of this because it can transform instantly for you. If you want the outside world to change, you must change your inner world first there's no there's no shortcuts to this you got to work harder on yourself than you do your business i can't stress that enough you can work on your business 24 7 and achieve some level of success or significant success but i can guarantee you you'll have no balance in your life i can guarantee you you'll have no fun relationships i can guarantee you you won't be happy even if you're making a million dollars i know people that are like that a lot of people that are like that, and they're in the industry of network marketing, okay? So guess what? Find people that are making the money that you want to make, that have balance in their life, and they're building the business the way you want to build your business, and guess what? It'll shape your mindset. It'll improve your law of association. Your transformation occurs. So if you want to help others in all areas of their lives, the best you can do for them is to help them understand these two principles. Law of association, mindset, the thoughts. Can you do it in one sitting? No. Can you do it by telling them? No. Are they at a different level of understanding and awareness? Probably. But they will only learn through your actions, through what you do, through what you don't do, and the right person will understand and will transform as well too. So again, a uh, lot of things you you have belief in because again they come from again your belief comes from 
parents, from family, from friends, your community, your upbringing, your culture, your religion. There's so many things, and that's why I focus more on the law of association. But law of association will only be as powerful as your mindset and your thoughts that come from your belief system. And your belief system and mindset and thoughts will only be as good as the people that you surround yourself with. So daily visualization of things you want in your life. Visualize them as if you already have them. You've heard the top leaders talk about this all the time. You have to have a vivid picture of what you want your life to look like five years from now, ten years from now, three months from now. Not just dream about it, but be in the moment, experience it, live it, feel it, be, get emotional about it, and visualize it if you are already achieving it. You've already achieved it. You're living in it right now. You're having the things that you want. You've got to do that because that's how your subconscious mind starts to create, starts to attract. These are very important to, again, the success of your business, to the success of all areas of your life. You've got to do that. How does that make you feel? Let's just say you are living the life that you want to live five years from now. you got everything. You've attracted everything. How would that make you feel? If it doesn't bring a tear to your eye, if it doesn't give you goosebumps, something is wrong. And I can guarantee you it's one of the two things. Law of association and your thought patterns. It can't be anything else. That's why you hear people talk about a vision board. It's got to be part of your life. It can't be a part-time thing. It can't be a spare-time thing. It has to be part of your life. Find two people, folks, that make more money than you, who inspire you, that challenge you, stretch yourself to become more, that can give you that tough love, people that can magnify your dreams and your possibilities. Here's what I did. I interviewed millionaires. I, I interviewed millionaires in my 12 years. That's how I got involved with Joe Garcia. I interviewed him once. I loved what he said. We connected our energy. We stayed connected. And when I made a decision to leave my previous company to join uh, our, our current company, it was because of the law of association. I am not working any harder today than I did before. But boy, are my results <laughs> a thousand percent bigger and better. Why? Because my mindset is shaped because of those who I associate myself with. And because I was, quest I was looking for the right people, I was so into personal development, but my law of association was not moving me in the direction that I wanted to go. Even though I was successful, it was not moving me in the direction that I wanted to go. Because my mindset was so focused, so laser focused on where I wanted to go, I believe I was able to attract a Joe Garcia into my life. And now the law of association went back and also changed the mindset. And this is why we're growing a legacy here, folks. It is unbelievable what these two principles that I'm sharing with you today can do if you grasp it, if you study it, if you apply it, you implement it today. Not tomorrow, but today. Successful people, folks, they have balance in their life. Okay, find people that have balance in your life, not successful people that are in balance. Okay, find people that have morals, they have value, they have integrity, the people you'd like to model. You don't know where they are, you don't know how to find them, then focus on your mindset, focus on your thoughts, focus on your why, and guess what? You're going to attract them. I guarantee you you're going to attract it. So stay engaged, folks, with your leaders. Stay engaged with the calls and the webinars. Make your leaders part of your top five. It is your responsibility to do that, not the training, not somebody else. It's your responsibility. And, folks, I'm telling you, your world, your future can change forever. Folks, this training was recorded. You can listen to it on 6plusteam.weebly.com, which is my training site. All the webinars that I have done here are also on that site. You'll be able to also listen to it on steamteam.ca. Plethora of personal development webinars, how-to webinars, leadership webinars, from the best in the industry of network marketing folks, that's why we're getting millions of hits on a monthly basis, from people that are not even in our organization or are not even in our company, that's how powerful our message is in transforming people personally and transforming people professionally. 
and financially. So it's my sincere pleasure, folks, to spend about, again, 40, 45 minutes with each and every one of you. I hope you take this training to heart, implement it, uh, talk to the person that you're working with, share some thoughts and ideas based on this training, and I look forward to more future trainings with you and your organization as we help you again change your life forever through our business model and through our system. So thank you so much for joining us here, folks. Uh, we'll hear you on our next call. This is Andreas Papacostas from the Chicagoland area signing off here today. Thank you, everybody.